Sande Edward is a maize farmer in Mayuge district, just a few kilometers from West Bugwe Forest. He has so far missed two planting seasons due to unpredictable weather patterns in the region. Unpredictable weather is partly attributed to limited forest cover in the region due to deforestation. West Bugwe Forest is one of the examples where most trees are cut for logging and charcoal burning. It being close to the border of Uganda and Kenya, most charcoal is smuggled into Kenya since charcoal burning in Kenya has been prohibited. They, they used to cut the charcoal they, and they smuggle it into Kenya, of which now it has, re, it has been minimized completely. The National Forestry Authority, together with partners, have devised many interventions to help preserve Uganda's forests, but deforestation remains persistent. The United Nations Development Program Accelerator Lab took on the challenge of deforestation to clearly understand why it is being persistent. Despite various interventions from various engagements with stakeholders, it was discovered that the issue of deforestation should be handled in a systematic way. Curating interventions with a profile approach as opposed to a one-project intervention. Uh, deforestation is a huge and very complex uh, development challenge uh, in this country. We've done an energy audit which has given us indications that we can actually deliver electricity at affordable prices uh, to the you know, social institutions in the health sector, in the education sector, in the urban setting, and offset uh, and see a big shift away from the use of, um, from the use of biomass. Uh, we hope to generate evidence that will inform the design or structuring of uh, preferential tariffs for our electricity. According to the Ministry of Water and Environment, Uganda's forest cover has reduced from 24% in 1990 to just 9% in 2020. And if deforestation continues at the present rate, forecasts indicate that Uganda risks losing its forests by the year 2060. Deforestation has the potential to exacerbate climate change, soil degradation, mudslides and floods, as well as reducing Uganda's biodiversity and reversing progress on Uganda's sustainable development outcomes. Developed in partnership between the United Nations Development Program and the National Forestry Authority, the Uganda National Resource Information System has been earmarked to monitor forest cover and track the impact of initiatives relating to deforestation in Uganda. Having recognized the gap in recent data to track the state of the forest in Uganda, have developed the Uganda Natural Resource Information System as a collaborative and real-time data mapping tool with the capacity to track field changes, map trends in forest cover loss and growth, provide a data source for partner initiatives while also offering potential to monitor population density, urban development and other variables in the future.
This initiative is working to protect Uganda's forests and biodiversity and improve sustainable development outcomes for the people and planet. With time also it will be accessed by other stakeholders who will be able to report relevant information in forest monitoring, most especially when it comes to cases of forest encroachment, that means reporting of illegalities. The Uganda National Resource Information System is accessible to government, the private sector and other stakeholders as a tool to forecast future trends in the forest cover, generate support for prevention and mitigation of deforestation, trigger real-time response and ultimately influence decision-making and meaningful action relating to deforestation in Uganda. Uganda's forests are home to more than 80% of the country's wild fauna and flora while also supplying almost 90% of Uganda's energy needs, generating 60% of the country's tourism income and providing employment for over 1 million people. Forests also provide vital ecosystem services and resources that are essential for human development and Uganda's social, economic and environmental well-being is tightly bound to the many benefits that healthy forests provide and therefore they need to be utilized sustainably.